the father of American libertarianism on the so-called right. But it's indistinguishable between what the right is doing and many times what the left is doing under American ragged individualism. Thus it becomes confusing and American capitalism moves on and consolidates power. And it's happening uh, worldwide. Yes, people are demonstrating in Portugal. They're demonstrating in Spain. They're demonstrating uh, in Cyprus. Uh, well, they're trying to get to ATMs there, but they're close. But nonetheless, they are demonstrating. How effective of demonstrations? Well, you have to look at the government policy three weeks later and see. They are rolling over. And at the same time, there's no united front. And in Greece, the right-wingers, the fascists, uh, the golden, whatever they are there, uh, are there. They've come back in the Greek fascist tradition. They were there during the war. They had a dictatorship after the war. Most people don't realize that. Hundreds of people were tortured. In fact, a friend of mine, Athena, was tortured living in the American embassy. But the, the, whole, the whole point uh, next door to it, but the whole point there is that these things occur. You used to have air strikes in the third world. Now you have drone strikes. People up in the air, but they weren't up in the air on the uh, air strikes and the assassination. They used to have the special forces slip in by night, kill somebody, slip out, and maybe you found out the person was murdered, maybe not. If they were a significant figure, you probably heard about it, or you didn't. Or a bomb dropped there and it dropped. But now uh, that... This is, quote-unquote, the new space age of weapons. President Obama is a war criminal because he's directed drones, supposedly. Well, that's been the policy of the U.S. back to Harry Truman. Truman dropped the atomic bomb. People have forgotten about that one. It was actually the Anyway, nonetheless, he dropped that uh, on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Nagasaki. So, these things have been going on for a long time. They have evolved into the foreign policy that Brother Kerry has now to implement. So in other words, it's a spaghetti bag. The Republicans already see uh, light for 2014 in these retirements. Uh, Tim Johnson, the most recent one to retire from South Dakota. Because in those states, they have enough libertarians there and various types of conservatives, evangelicals, to elect a right-wing senator. And at the same time, the progressives in the country are running around here talking about drones, and if they don't watch out, be politically impotent, as what happened in Madison had not been for hundreds of thousands of people, like my friend Nancy, to go out there and to stop Boss Walker. Now he's writing books. I guess next he'll be like G.W. Bush, painting and thinking he can somehow be in 2006. His pipe dream is as big as Tim Hu, who came from a neighboring state. But Tim Hu has now got a cushy job now on K Street. That's another day. Nonetheless, the Supreme Court had arguments. We'll get to that one on marriage equality. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But we needed to do this, and we've done it. This is Boston Red for Libertarianism on the 27th day of March, 2013. And as the Port Lord of Newark, New Jersey, who we don't think is a libertarian, you one never knows. He's a vegetarian. Would say peace out. Good day.